Hey everybody, we're back. If you're new, thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon, that's Coco, that's Tita. Mimin's back there, Ye is back there. We're all in here. Click that subscribe button, please, if you're not new. Thanks for coming back. Glad to finally be doing some real TJ Maxx videos and not just shorts, y'all. It was rough for me. We did find a lot of good things this time. I will say that I may have overspent a little bit. We found some Becca. We found some NYX. I got a lot of skincare stuff. I'll stop rambling. Oh, you know what? There's a lot of Lime Crime lippies. Anyway, anyway, check it out. I'll catch you at the end. We do have this BH Cosmetics Zodiac. This is $8.99. Super pretty. If this wasn't broken, some of them are broken, I'd probably get this. We do have a makeup obsession here this is oh it's pretty but they have a few of them so maybe it's not broken that's what that looks like this is gonna be $4.99 okay y'all looks like we have a julep palette here this is gonna be $4.99 let's see what she looks like oh kind of underwhelming we also have this natural lust which is beautiful I have it paid full price this is $29.99 here we do have some car palettes these are absolutely gorgeous $8.99 for these we have the essentials which is a must-have and then we also have the gentle teaser we do have some Revolution palettes here. These are going to be $4.99. They have the blue one. We have this BH Cosmetics palette here. This is going to be $5.99. It's the Glam Reflection Smoke. We have this Lime Crime Blush here in Java. This is going to be $5.99. We also have this NYX palette here. Oh wow, that's super pretty. This one's gonna be $3.99. We still have this Becca palette here, $14.99. Y'all know Becca is going out of business soon. Looks like we have some Laura Mercier foundation for $14.99. We also have some Jouer lip toppers. This is in the shade Molten Gold. This is gonna be $3.99. This looks new to me. This is a setting powder with SPF in it. That's cool, $9.99 for that. We've got some concealers here from Elf, $2.99 for those. We've got some Becca lipstick here. This is going to be $5.99 in the shade Crimson. We've got some Purr here. I really love Purr. $3.99, all of those shades. We do have some Milk here. This is a lip balm for $4.99 in the shade Nug. We've got a bunch of lipsticks here from MAC, $7.99. We have all of these shades. We also have a setting powder for $12.99. We have this NARS blush here. This is $12.99. It's in the shade Impassioned. We have a NARS bronzer in Laguna here for $16.99. Oh, we got a MAC foundation here. This is going to be $14.99. NW43. We do have some milk blushes here for $5.99. We've got some highlighters for $4.99. Back here, $7.99 for the mascara primers. Here we have $5.99 for the lip balms. We do have a bronzer here for $9.99 in the shade Blaze. $7.99 for these milk highlighters. It's a loose powder. Then down here, we do have the Becca Dreamsicle. This is gonna be $9.99. I might get one of these just because it's going out of business. We also have the Champagne Pop. It's like a crayon stick kind of thing. $5.99 for that. We have some Per Dual Ended Contour Foundation, $4.99 and then we have this, this is Skin Perfecting Foundation, $4.99. We have Quick Draw Precision Concealer Pencil from Per for $3.99. And then we've got some Estee Lauder Powder Bronzer here. This is $19.99. We do have the Becca Chocolate Geode, $7.99. This is super pretty. Okay, we have a Real Techniques Sugar Rush Blender here. This one's gonna be $3.99. They have a few of them. We also have the e.l.f. Retro Set. This is $4.99. Looks like that's about it for sponges, but we do have an e.l.f. Precision Stippling Brush here. $3.99. We have a julep brush here for $4.99. We do have the e.l.f. Retro Brush Set. This is gonna be $9.99. Looks like we have some super cute lip treatments, $2.99. For this, we have a lip scrub here, $2.99. Yeah, look how adorable that is. $3.49. We have a pineapple here, that's super cute. $3.49. Oh, we have a different shade of pineapple, that's key lime. This one's gonna be strawberry mango. We have a lip balm in this shade too, it's darker. We have a hydrating lip plumper here, $2.99. We have them in two separate shades. Oh, three separate shades, we have one back there too. We have the e.l.f. Multi-Dimension Face Body Shimmer for $4.99. And it looks like we've got a bunch of the Lime Crime glosses here for $5.99. Probably have to grab some of those. Yeah, look at Chapstick, they are coming up. It's seriously just Chapstick. 
$2.99. We also have these back here, $2.99. The clear one, $2.99. Okay, y'all, we have some Lime Crimes here, $5.99. Gumdrop, we have Cleopatra back there. We have Summer and Violet also. Love these so much. We also have this lip liner here in the shade Petunia for $3.99. Found some Winky Lux. Never find that here. $5.99 for this in the shade Sugar Glaze. I see some lashes here I don't think I've seen before. Those are pretty. $4.99. We have a Mint Wispy here also $4.99. This set here for $7.99. We have another set back here. This is going to be $7.99 also. Those are pretty. $4.99 for those. Mascaras all pretty much look the same. Nothing really new here. Oh, we've got a Coors Night Cream here. This looks pretty cool. $9.99 for that. Some Philosophy here. Sparkling. Oh, these are sprays. $9.99. We have it in Wild Citrus and Sparkling Musk. I'm not a musk person. I like the packaging here, $2.99. Oh, it's a bath fizzer. First aid, I've heard good things about this. This is an eye cream, well, at least about the brand, $14.99. I just have to point this one out, not because I know much about the brand or anything, $4.99 for this facial cream, but because y'all look at it, it's studded on the top of the packaging, so that's so cute. Oh, eye serum, firm, regenerating, plump, strengthen, $5.99 for that one. Pink Clay Plus Vitamin C Mask Glowing, $3.99. Milk Cleansing Foam, that's interesting. This one's gonna be $3.99. Kinda wanna get this one. We have the Elf Recharging Beauty Shield. I think this was like the magnetized one, $6.99. We have Oil Control Mask here. It's not in its box, I don't know the price. We've got a mask with soothing. I kinda need some soothing stuff, $5.99 and hydrating bubble mask i think this like super bubbles up 5.99 bosha love this brand so much 9.99 for this trio eye cream these actually look pretty cool these are little capsules so this is glacier water collagen and glycolic acid in a little capsule 5.99 and then they have glacier water retinol and hydronic acid for 5.99 also so to use these all you have to do is twist the capsule put the stuff in your hand and then smear it on your face that seems pretty cool $5.99 okay these look pretty interesting this is aloe vera soothing gel $5.99 and then they have a cleanser it's a foam cleanser for $3.99 then I started looking over here we've got a vitamin C serum this is cool $3.99 but look at these scrubs so I don't want to have to deal with this going down the drain, but pretty cool. $5.99. We also have this one here for $4.99. Okay, yeah, I just had to show you these $4.99. But look how many different ones they have. These are so cute if you have kids. Like the girls would love these. They do love wearing these. But I feel like the bunny ones, the bears, they'll love those. We've got some shake and shots from Dr. Jart here. These are gonna be $6.99. They have three different ones. So they have this one, this one, and this one. I haven't tried any of these. We do have some vitamin C masks, which I tend to like the generic brands more for these, $4.99. Uh, I like this brand's vitamin C mask. Uh, we have some aloe vera here though for $3.99. I'm not a big fan of these from Dr. Jart, but they are $5.99. We have some more Dr. Jart masks here for $12.99, and then we have these ones. So Tiger Grass Calming and Facial Barrier. We have Tea Tree Calming Mask here. I like this brand's masks, $3.99. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna start off with the Lime Crime Lippies just because I did get those for the girls as surprises. And so I didn't even, I normally pull this stuff out of the bag so you don't hear it rattling, but I didn't even want them to see the surprises. I got three, they had a bunch of different shades. I got three completely different shades for them because I'm tired of them fighting over them. It was like Tita's favorite thing and then um, the girls like them and now it's just, I got three to avoid the drama. You know what I'm saying? So the first one, they're all $5.99. The first one is Over the Rainbow. This is what that one looks like. It's more of a pinky, whitish shade, but let's swatch it. Okay, so this is what that one looks like. Super pretty, but I will say these do cost more than the Jouer Lip Topper here Coco. So from now on before I buy these I will be on the lookout for the Jouer lip toppers just because they're a couple dollars cheaper. This one is in the shade Choke. You're welcome Coco. 
This is what that one looks like. They all pretty much look similar, but side by side, you can definitely tell the differences. Okay, and then the bigger swatch is the new one, and that's what they look like. Like I said, they all pretty much look similar, but side by side, you can see a slight, slight difference. This one is the more pinky of all of them, and this is Fluke. This is what that one looks like. Yaya is over here dying for it. Let's swatch it really quickly for her, and then she can have hers. And then that very biggest one at the end is the Fluke shade. So side by side, you can kind of see slight differences, but in general, you're not gonna see much of a difference between all of these. The girls love them, but like I said, they are $6, so I feel like I would rather get the Jouer toppers because I think they're $3.99 or $4.99. They're cheaper. I know they're cheaper. The next thing I got is this Becca lip tint in the shade Lilac. You would think it's gonna be purple, but it's actually not. It's a really pretty pink. The packaging is super nice on this. I feel like, y'all, right now we really need to start picking up those Becca products because, like I said, in my haul on the Twins Times 2 channel, Becca's going out of business, y'all, and that's gonna be painful for us. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is what that one looks like. Let's swatch it really quickly so we can... Oh, you know what? No point in really swatching it. You can't really tell. You can't see it. It has a very light pink sheen that is really not noticeable, but it's very creamy. It is very creamy. I'll give it that. And the packaging is nice. I like the packaging. This one was $5.99. I honestly feel like if Becca wasn't going to go out of business, I don't know if I would have bought this, especially looking at it now that it's just uh, clear pretty much. It's not going to give any tint to my lips. Um, I probably won't buy any more of these just because even if it's great, there are so many other lip balms that are just, they're cheaper. And I love the e.l.f. lip balms that they have. Oh, so pretty. I love it, Coco. The e.l.f. lip balms are cheaper, and I feel like you get more product from that. Okay, so I did buy a lot of skincare products. I'll talk about this one first. So I did pick up this cow one. We just, we've just we just been calling it the cow one. I have tried all of the skincare products that I got so far, so I can let you know my thoughts on them. This was $3.99, and I will say do not get this. I don't like it. I put this in the downstairs bathroom for the occasions that I want to wash my face downstairs, but but to me, I feel like after I wash my face with it, I feel almost like if I used a bar of soap and not a bar of face soap, because I do have face soaps that come in bar form, but like a bar of like Irish spring or something is what my face feels like after I use this. So 100% would not recommend this one at all. It doesn't leave me, doesn't leave me feeling good. If I could return it, I would, but you can't return products that you've used. And then I did get these two items because a lot of people have recommended that I should use aloe vera or alloy type of products because of the redness after that horrible facial that I got. So I did get this. I have an alloy plan outside, but this just seems so much easier and I just have it in the house. So I've been using this. I've honestly been using this like all over my body. And then this one was $5.99. This one, I don't remember how much this cost. Um, I must have ripped the thing off or maybe it came in a, I don't think it came in a box. I don't know how much this cost though, but um, it wasn't expensive, $5.99. So it was somewhere around there. I think it was $5.99. But this is a soothing and moisture. It's a foam cleanser. It doesn't really get foamy. I'm not gonna, you know, it doesn't get foamy. I was expecting foam. It, it doesn't do that, but I do like this. So I will probably move this one to the bathroom downstairs just because I like to have a soap down there. So I'm not mad at this. I like these and y'all I've been using, I've been using them on my hands, my feet, my arms, my face. The girls have been using them. She's trying to show you her swatch. It's pretty Tita. Y'all give Tita a thumbs up for that one. Thumbs up. Um, I did get a vitamin C serum, $3.99. I've been using it. I don't know if I see a, a big difference. What I will say is the other vitamin C serum that I'm using now is also from TJ Maxx. And what I've noticed with the TJ Maxx serums, they're a lot thinner than the high-end vitamin C serums that I've used in the past. I don't know if that makes much of a difference, but it's definitely significantly thinner. Okay, I did get this Becca. Y'all, I hope I checked it. I don't remember if I opened it and checked it. I did get this Becca though. It's the Dream Sickle. This was $9.99. This is what that one looks like. I'm holding it to the side because otherwise you'll get a big glare because it is shiny. Um, I'm not going to swatch this one. 
I'm holding it because I might do another giveaway. I have a boxy charm giveaway. Check that out. I might do a giveaway with this, but I absolutely love this highlighter, so I grabbed it because I was like, okay, maybe I'll want to keep it because I won't be able to get this in the future, or maybe I won't actually need it and I can do a giveaway. But I have one, so I'll swatch it for you. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It kind of has an orange sherbet kind of tint to it. Goldish tint almost. It's super, super pretty. I absolutely love this one. And then we did get this NYX palette. This is Off Tropic. And I just thought she was really pretty. $3.99, it's gonna have some glare. I'm gonna save this one for a giveaway also just because I feel like she's really pretty and it was inexpensive and I feel like somebody would like that in a giveaway. And since the BoxyCharm giveaway we're doing has like multiple items in it, I've run out of giveaway items so I like to I like to have my little giveaway box full we did find this makeup obsession for $4.99 She's pretty, y'all. Sorry about the glare. She is pretty, though. $4.99. What I will say about these two things, and I started to do a little research, is if you look, if you look at this, you will see that this side has a little eye, which means these shadows are safe for your eyes. And this side has an eye that's crossed out, and these are just pigments. But this one, this one, and then most of these down here are not actually safe for your eyes. But who is going to use, like, who's gonna use this as like a blush, or where are you gonna put this? Unless you do like costume type of makeup, how safe is it to not use on your eyes? You know what I'm saying? Just wondering, because remember when Urban Decay came out with the wired palette was the wired palette and it was like oh these shades are pigments these are eyeshadows that's pretty much what this is no 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 coco <laughs> okay and then let me go over the lipstick of the day really quick before i get into the last item we got it is the kkw lip set this comes with four lipsticks but i used two shades today because one shade i felt like i just needed to tone it down some because i was trying to go for a natural look those are the shades that I used together. I feel like they're really pretty. I went with the darker one and it was just a little too vibrant for my dulled down look that I was going for today. So I used those two. That's the lipstick of the day. Anyway, the last thing I got was one of these Lime Crime plushies. I kind of want to try this on. This is in the shade Gumdrop. $5.99. All of the lime, they had a lot of Lime Crime lippies um, that day, but they were all $5.99. I should have looked at it. Well, it looks purple. This is a little more purple than I had wanted. So now I'm kind of like, ah, uh, what was I thinking? Anyway, <laughs> I like, I like these plushies, but, um, I wasn't expecting it to be purple. The packaging's super cute. You know what, now that I'm looking at it, I don't, oh my God, I'm not gonna wear this, y'all. It's very, very liquidy, I will say that. And I'm definitely, this is not my shade. Y'all know I've been stepping out of my box with different shades, but this is definitely not um, a shade that I will ever use for, at, like, I'm not. Here, Coco, you can just, you want that lippy? So that was kind of a fail, but I luckily, you know, I have the girls, so they'll use it all. Anyway, that's all of the stuff that we got, y'all. Click that subscribe yeah. button, push that like button if you like this video. Oh, they can't see you, Tita. Show them again. She's trying to show you a thumbs up in the camera screen. There you go. There you go. Click that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe.